take my photo off the wall if it just won't sing for you. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you an interesting psychological thing that we've got to do with our faces. So what I'm going to do is I'm op going to open up GIMP and tell you a little bit thing about evolutionary biopsychology or it might be evolutionary psychobiology, I'm not quite sure of the difference. I think it's biopsychology and what it is is it's the idea that attractiveness attractiveness is based on how symmetrical your face is. So here's a picture I've taken uh, of myself just now. I was just sitting in front of a chair, got my two flashes and my little video camera uh, set up and it made it take a photo of me. And what it is, is if the two sides of your face are roughly equal, then the more attractive you're meant to be. Another option of attractiveness is about how average your face is. Um, so a, a very attractive person may be very difficult to describe because their face is just kind of average. There's nothing special or different. So for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can do show the two different faces we'd have. So using the rectangle select button I go down pretty much right down the middle of my face to about there. And then from there just press Control C and then again, straight on to press control V. And what you'll see is over here, that now says floating selection. And we just right click on that, new layer. So now that side of my face has been duplicated. But what we want it is it on the other side of my face. So what we do is we click this button here, which is effectively the flip tool. So you click on that, and then on the bit which is highlighted, as you can see, we just click on it. And it's gone over to the other side. Then we use the move tool and just bring this face over to this side. And that should be it roughly in the right place. Then it needs to go up a bit. One. If I go to select none, there you can see that is my face if we just looked at the left of it and duplicated it twice. So that's quite interesting. But what we'll also do is we'll make the other side of my face as well. So we'll just hide it by clicking on the eye icon so that means that it's my face back to normal again. And using the rectangle selection tool again over this side. And whenever you've made it, you can just slightly adjust it by going on there. That's done. And again, control C, control V, right click, make it a new layer. Then go to the flip tool, click on it, flips it over, move tool, bring it over to the other side of my face I think I need to go a little bit closer so that's my face if it's completely flipped that's my face normal. so what we can do is we'll save each face separately just go from there so we're not seeing the one below go file save as Dom's face left and then get, hide that and show the other side and then go to file Save as Dom's face. Right. Go to File and then Open as Layers. That'd be much better. Left and right, Open. Now we can flick through the different faces. So that's my normal face. As you can see, let's see if we zoom in a little bit. What you can see is I've got a scar just at the bottom of my lip. Uh, that's from a car crash. I've also got a scar on my nose, going from there to there. That was from a cycling crash. And I've also got something funny going on in my eyebrow, another scar from another cycling crash. So my face is really asymmetrical, which means not symmetrical at all. And if we look at my left face, I kind of seem a little bit fatter, I have a rounder head. And if we go to my right face, I have a slimmer face. But they're not too different, but there is definite head shape difference. Must have been bashed more in the left hand side of my head than I have on my right. And for fun, what we could do is we can add all those uh, to a single layer. So zoom the picture out, click the minus button, and Dom's face right. What we'll do is we'll just click on the move tool, move it over to the right. 
and DOM is face left, click on that and move that over to the left and you'll notice they've disappeared. You think, ah, they're, you're not able to see them. But all you need to do is go up to Image and go to Fit Canvas to Layers. And now you've got all three pictures. So that's my left, that's my normal face, and that's my right side, I think. I may have been completely confused about my size of my face during this. And then we can just move it all into position. Make sure it's all roughly correct. And then go to File, or Image, Fit Canvas to Layers again and then give it a final crop so we're tight on all the pictures crop button is this one that looks like a little stencil and crop it over the three of us and click OK or return and that's it done so that's an interesting little thing of the symmetricalness of your face and <sighs> don't know, don't know if it has any uses whatsoever but it's quite interesting to see how different the size of your faces are Okay, so there you go. Hope you help. Hope that is something interesting for you. Cheers.